Hi everyone, and welcome to MessyWorks, a channel dedicated to Lego, Mecha, and everything in between. I'm Lu Sim, also known as Messi Maru, and today's video will be focusing on a diorama model kit. And the first time I saw it, I knew immediately that I wanted to use it with my mech builds and kind of get this more real scale diorama looking photographs with it. Prior to this, I wanted to make a Lego hangar, but given some parts constraints and time constraints, I haven't been able to upgrade my old hangar build. So my old build was just a flooring. Um, didn't have walls and kind of needed a new way to take pictures of my mech. So this would be a really good and temporary way to do that. You can elevate the platform like this, an alternate assembly. Notice the raised platform right here. And here's a larger garage unit with two kits joined together. Notice it's a full flooring. And it's probably what I'll be aiming to do since I have two kits right here. Um, space capsule looks very interesting as well. <clears throat> looks like you could put in a whole mech in here let's uh, do an estimate later and here's a three runway so three sets and just just a corridor looks like you could mimic a like a launch pad of sorts with this you could probably take out this um, this this wall here make it an open area and you could probably do a side diorama on it so it's a pretty interesting kit So one wall, uh, it'll probably take two walls to fit the mech, maybe three if I had a tall weapon on the back, right? Looks like I'll need at least three of these kits together. Mm -hmm. And um, roughly one wall is, let's count this here. It's a 10 brick height um, one by one. So that's roughly just under 11 bricks high for one. Right. This is roughly there. So if you do plan on getting this, take note of the height. Uh, that should give you a really good idea if it'll fit your builds just right. Uh, here's a small mech I have that would fit right there. Right. I mean, just looking at this, just looking at this, uh, it looks like it's a really good backdrop for any mecha build. And I know it's not Lego, and maybe some hardcore purists out there would uh, say something about using this, but given how I'm a little pressed for time, and Making hangers this detailed in Lego just requires a ton of bricks that I do not have for wall building. So for now, this will have to do. Like I'll do a quick assembly of this and let's see how two kits combine with each other. Okay, so before we even begin, I'm just going to remove the parts that we don't really need. Um, I've built one already of this and from there I can tell you that um, one of these we don't need. Uh, these are the bracket pieces. I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, seven of these won't be used. And these small pieces here are just for a finishing detail, so we can skip that for now. And 
these two pieces for um, joining the walls together are extras. Now, um, these pieces here, they actually combine together, but we don't need them for now since we're not going to be doing that configuration to maximize on space. So essentially for the whole build, this is all you need, the three wall plates. So this, three walls, um, the hexagon piece, the three supports for the walls, which go here, it's supposed to go here, it's actually inverted. Um, so they go there and the brackets for everything these pieces for joining the walls and these are detail pieces for filling in those gaps right here okay so for now let me remove the detail pieces uh, and let's work on the walls So here's the um, completed hanger, one kit. So if you notice that uh, it's a little short, um, again, measuring this with our 10 brick high uh, orange bricks, it's just somewhere short of 11, but yeah, if you're planning on using this for a taller build, you're gonna want at least two. So uh, I was able to combine uh, the two sets together. And it looks like it, it will fit the height of my mech just right. I mean, obviously this lying down, but if you see it, um, it's a little short, this side's a little short. Um, if you take photos of this, or if I take the normal photos of this, uh, I'm definitely going to have some sort of background spilling over on this side, the top side. Okay. Uh, I might still have to get a third one just to elevate this whole wall section here, the top, and connect those with the normal connectors here and see where I put the extra half hexagon base. The good part is if I tilt this over, uh, that's a full hexagon base right there. And if I position the mech right here, then uh, that's actually a cool looking display. Let me see if I can do this to show it. And uh, not, mm, yeah, my, there's no way I can, uh, somewhere here. Okay. So there. It's a pretty good looking backdrop. Uh, so yeah. Overall, it's a pretty cheap alternative to, um, to an industrial looking hanger backdrop. Uh, combined is probably around $20 USD uh, or something around um, just under $20 actually, maybe uh, 18 or $19. Uh, and if I really wanted to readjust the configuration, I still could with probably difficulty removing these areas because these are peg based. So like these are pretty snug holes for the pegs these have. You're gonna, you're, you're probably gonna break them if you try to remove it forcibly. I had to like, slowly push these 
walls apart and that re that worked fine although I did create some stress on the pegs so do take note if you do want to re uh, reposition the panels and make this into a different setup that you might be causing some stress here the brackets are pretty solid I haven't noticed any significant stress on those parts but like these parts do have some significant stress when you try to pull them apart so that's that there's a pretty good hanger um, nice detail here this is a very nice detail I gotta push this down a bit there you go and it's pretty solid um, it's pretty flat on this mat uh, no complaints there you could if you had more of these sets again this is what you could you could mix into a corridor and this is the ending side of the corridor or a tunnel so it's pretty cool um, again cheap solution for uh, a good mech backdrop I'll probably be using this really soon and uh, that's that so uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope it was informative if you haven't subscribed and want to see more videos like this then take this chance to just subscribe to my channel for more Lego mech stuff and uh, that's that so Thanks for watching and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.